Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Here in this video, we'll discuss how we can enable or disable core isolation memory integrity in Windows 11. So with that being said, let's get started. Let me tell you that in order to use core isolation memory integrity feature on your Windows operating system, you have to enable Hyper-V and virtualization on your system. So let me show you how you can enable this feature first. Here on the search option, turn Windows feature on or off. Open the settings. Here look for Hyper-V. Simply enable Hyper-V, Hyper-V management tools and Hyper-V platform. Then click on OK and wait for the process to complete. Once done, simply restart your system. After that, you have to enable virtualization settings on your Windows computer. Before that, let us check whether our device has virtualization settings enabled or not. For that, right click on start button, open task manager, here click on navigation menu, then click on performance, select CPU option and here you will find virtualization option. So as you can see here on my system, I have already enabled virtualization settings. That's why I'm getting enabled. If you're getting disabled here, then I already have a video on how you can enable virtualization on your system. So I'll provide the video link in the button or you will get the video link in the description box. After that, you are ready to use core isolation memory integrity. For that, open Windows Security. Here on the search option, search for Windows Security. Open it. Here click on Device Security. Now here you will find your core isolation option. Simply click on Core Isolation Details. Simply use this toggle to enable or disable core isolation memory integrity in Windows 11. So that's for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.